As of right now, we are one minute away from liftoff. Flight directors go for launch. Best words you could possibly hear 20 seconds away from liftoff. T minus five, four, three, two, one. We have left off. Vehicles pitching downrange. Booster after chamber pressure nominal. Thirty seconds into the flight, the rumble's just starting to reach us here at launch control. Booster and ship, that avionics is the power, telemetry nominal. Thirty-three Raptor engines. Max Q. Through the maximum aerodynamic pressure, the most stress the vehicle is going to see on the way uphill. All right, our next our next major milestone coming up. It's going to be hot staging. We're going to see the engines ignite on ship to push it away from the booster. So hot staging is going to be the next thing coming up. First, we're going to see the booster's engines start to shut down. All but three. We're going to do what's called most engines cut off instead of main engine cut off, because three are going to keep going. And then we're going to see the engines on ship ignite. Right now, the tower team is doing their go, no go. We might hear some really good words soon, too. All right. And still see it up behind me. That is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my entire life. Booster Coming up on hot staging next. Ship engine There's start up. Most engines cut off. Stage separation. Booster Stage booster separation. Start hot stage confer separation confirmed. Ship under its own power. I'm seeing six out of six Raptors lit. Hopefully I got a booster on the way back to me. I'm gonna send it to you guys in Hawthorne. Oh man, that was <laughs> absolutely incredible. I loved how the crowd Ship chamber pressure is nominal. The crowd here in Hawthorne all went ooh at that first <laughs> view of the blue flames from the booster. As you can see there. First stage currently performing, or to me, is uh, now making its way back to uh, the launch site. Again, we are. Ship avionics power and sun tree nominal. Uh, the booster and the tower are both performing automated checks to make sure we are go for the booster to return to the launch pad for that catch. And once those are complete, the flight director. Booster, booster, for shutdown. Flight director is go for booster return. We did hear that the tower is go for catch, so that was one of the big criteria we were looking for. 
this view we'll here. wait to hear that the we'll wait to hear that the gopher catch has been sent beautiful view here from the <laughs> ship <laughs> And so exciting to hear that we got a go for booster catch. That means it's going to be a really exciting morning. Again, the booster is making its way back towards uh, now land um, in order to make that catch attempt in the tower. <laughs> so incredible to see these views. You can see the ship on the right-hand side of your screen. All six Raptor engines are uh, under full power. Once again, the, the ship, excuse me, the booster is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to try and catch it using the chopsticks on the launch tower, the exact same tower that it just launched from just, wow, five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the booster. Starship on nominal guys, trajectory. I, I can confirm the command was sent for the booster to come back. That is incredible. So I'm looking news. up right now. <laughs> It's it's pretty much right over ahead of us, and we can see it starting to come down. I can't wait for us to hear the sonic boom through Dan's mic. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is going to be incredible. It was so cool to hear the liftoff. Uh, and so once again, um, a successful on-time liftoff of Starship Flight 5. The ship uh, the, has separated from the booster. The booster is there on your screen. It is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to attempt the catch using the chopsticks. We did hear the confirmation that the command was sent to the tower. Uh, we are go for catch. And in order to... Hey guys, we should just be at about 30 seconds away from our landing burn. It's going to happen in three phases. We're going to land 13 <laughs> engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Booster coming in hot for booster catch. We're going to ignite 13 of those Raptor engines, and this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. Ignited. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. Thank you. shaking right now that was yeah it oh uh, this is not <laughs> yeah, i mean let's, it's, let's check in on ship it's hard to believe that Starship 
nominal orbit insertion. All right, exciting news there. It's hard to believe that, you know, Booster isn't the only excitement that we have today. Just confirmation there, a gorgeous view of planet Earth behind uh, ship the ship. Saved. And it is now in, in the orbit that we expected it to. This is just an incredible day. Live views there as the booster vents some pressures there. That is a live view from the top of the tower <laughs> looking at the chopsticks. <laughs> I am still in disbelief. I'm trying to catch my tears just like the chopsticks caught the booster. <laughs> it has been nonstop <laughs> since liftoff. <laughs> And we are all so excited about everything that's been happening so far this morning. With the booster having completed its job for today, we are going to take a short break for the next 30 minutes. We'll return back at T plus 40 minutes while the ship continues to coast before re-entry. Oh, man. And <laughs> as with previous flights, Starlink may actually enable us to talk with the ship through re-entry with no communication blackout. We, of course, are still testing Starlink during this phase of flight, so nothing is certain. But if we do have views, we'll be sure to bring those to you live. Views or no views, we'll see you back here at T plus 40 minutes for coverage of Starship's re-entry, flip maneuver, landing burn, and splashdown. <laughs>